What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me here on Real Simple Mushrooms where we try to simplify home mushroom cultivation. Um, before I get started today, I really want to take a second to thank each and every one of you for helping to grow this channel so fast. We've reached almost a thousand subscribers in a month. It's pretty incredible. I really do appreciate all the amazing feedback you guys have given me and I'm excited to keep producing this educational cultivation content for y'all. Uh, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second to go do that if you like what you see. And I also wanted to say Happy New Year, everyone. Um, really excited to see what 2024 holds for, uh, for this channel and the mushroom community in general. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about today's video. So what we're going to do today is a direct head-to-head -head comparison of dino soil from Twisted, Twisted Tree Nursery, um, which is a tortoise manure-based mushroom substrate. And we're going to compare that heads up with uh, just your basic CV recipe, no gypsum, no CVG, just CV, cocoa core, vermiculite, bucket tech. Um, this is very simple. It's tried and true. It works great. Uh, however, we are going to be fruiting a top fruiting dung loving species. Uh, to keep this as accurate as possible, um, we're going to be using a single three pound bag of spawn, the exact same culture. Uh, we're going to be splitting this bag of spawn between both soils. We're going to be growing them in a 20 quart, uh, 20 quart modified monotub. Okay. And we're going to be doing a two to one substrate to spawn ratio. Um, so I've already weighed everything out here. I've got 1400 grams of spawn here. Um, so we're going to split that 700 and 700, which means there's going to be 1400 grams of substrate in each tub to 700 grams of spawn and one loosely cut packed, loosely packed cup uh, just for the top layer uh, to cover any grains. Um, so that's going to be our experiment. This is the first part in, in a couple part series. So today we're just going to put all the tubs together. I'm going to check in about every week. We're going to look at the progress. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so for this comparison, I'm not going to be using liners in the tub so that we can observe the mycelium as it colonizes the substrate. We're going to be using a strict 2 to 1 substrate to spawn ratio. Each tub has exactly 1400 grams of substrate and 700 grams of grain spawn from the same culture. I'm using 20 quart modified tubs. I'll be sealing up the lower holes but leaving the top ones free for some gas exchange during colonization. Once the surface has colonized completely, I'll unseal the lower holes to allow fresh air exchange. Um, every seven days, we'll check back in with a progress report, see how they're doing, and let me know in the comments which one you think will be the winner and why. And we will see you guys in a week. Much love. And hey, if you're looking to try out some dino soil, use the code MICRODOSENY and get a 10% discount. Uh, I will also leave a link in the comment if you guys want to try it out. I've been using it for a couple years and it really is fantastic. Thanks guys. Peace.